Okay, so here we go with another one of my training sessions on the different features I've added to the website. So I'll go ahead and log in here. Today I'm going to go through the slideshow presentation, what we call, uh, uh, here it is, Showtime Slideshow. So we go ahead and click on that. <clears throat> and you can see that I've already created several slideshows. You might have seen them if you've gone onto the website. Uh, presenting some of, your, some of the pictures that we've had from different uh, events or just ch pictures in general. In order to create another show, we'll just go up here and say Add Show. It's going to ask you to give a name to your show. I'm going to say Paul Test here. And then it's going to ask you if you want to use default settings for how it presents the show or if you like the settings and not previous show was uh, set up with, you could use that. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and use the 2013 Men's 2 Day and say Save. So now it's created a basic show, Paul Test, slideshow number 8, and it gives me some options, adding pictures, changing the settings of the show of how it's displaying stuff, or going back to the list of shows is what this third one here says edit shows it's really going back to the list of shows so you can select what you want to do of course what we need to do is we need to add some pictures here so if I go into the add pictures it brings me in and it shows me pictures that are already on the website so I've organized pictures into different folders for uh, events mostly years what I've done I did do the men's two-day event had a lot of pictures for that so I wanted to keep it separate I think it's best if we try and organize it by creating folders for each of the things that we're trying to do with slideshow since it's 2014 I'm gonna go ahead into the folder I created on 2014 and you can see I've had a couple of tests already in here but I want to create a new directory for this particular slideshow so I'm going to go ahead and say slideshow 2, whatever name you want to give it. Probably best to name it uh, for whatever event or grouping of fold, uh, pictures you're going to have for this show. Hit my OK button and you're going to see it's going to create another folder. Then I need to go into this folder and this is where I need to put my pictures. Well, if I want to put some pictures in there, I then have to upload pictures. And otherwise I have to move them from my PC up to the web server and put it into this folder. So I can click this Uploads button here and it brings me into the routines that allow us to upload folders. Uh, these are some newer, fancier routines uh, mostly with this slideshow, uh, Showtime slideshow one that allows you to upload folders. But several of the upload functions on our website have been enhanced with the latest uh, admin theme that I had everybody change in my first presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and say add files. So it opens up a uh, browser to the, the hard drives on my system here and it happened to open it to the test pictures folder that I created before starting this with a couple of pictures that I wanted to upload. Go ahead and click on one of them then I can go ahead and hold down the control key on my keyboard and click several others so I can upload them all at once here. I don't have to do one at a time. Go ahead and say OK and we can see it's now uploading all of them at once. The menu bar up here is the overall process for all the pictures and of course in each picture it shows the process, the progress for that picture. Oh, now all of my pictures have gotten uploaded. Now that they're uploaded, they're in that folder I created up there. We have to go back out to our overall uh, menu and come back into the Showtime. It wasn't a simple, easy way to get back to what we were doing in the Showtime. I had to come all the way back out. And then I had to go back in and say edit slides in the show that I was creating. Now the pictures are up on the web server, but they're not yet added to this uh, Showtime slideshow. We have to go back in to add pictures again and then work our way down through the file folders on the web server. Here's our 
Slideshow 2 folder and pick up the pictures that we just uploaded. I'm just going to take three of them right now because I'm going to show you later how to go about adding pictures. Go ahead and save that. And so now it gives me a little thumbnail of each picture here. It gives me the file name of the picture as it was it came off my camera that way. And then it gives me a place where I can put a comment or a caption for the picture. So I'm going to call this one Lighthouse. Oops, got an extra character in here. And we'll call this one another lighthouse. And this one was from Las Vegas. So we've got those. I need to save those changes now. So now it's updated those with the captions that I've given it. And you'll notice with this new theme, the admin theme, we, we often get these boxes up here to tell us, you know, it's finished doing something. So now that I've added a few pictures, I want to go out to the listing of shows. That's this Edit Shows button. Because now that I've created a little show called Paul Test, put some pictures into it, I need this little bit of information that's here in this tag to display the show. This is the piece of information we put in our web page to cause it to actually run and display our slideshow. So we simply need to copy this. So I did my copy function there. And then we have to go out and create a page to put this in. So I'm going to go back to my pages. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. Give it a title. Test slideshow going to just cop. Oops, I can't copy and paste that because I'll lose the other thing I copied. Uh, test slideshow. I'm going to make this, I'm going to put it under the association in general, but normally when you do that it creates a uh, item on our menus, our drop down menus. I'm going to jump over there for a second. So when we mouse over the menu we get these different items. And I don't really want it to create one down here, but I'm going to place it under this. And I'm going to show you in a second how we keep it from displaying that after we've created the page. But for right now, I'm going to continue with adding my slideshow in here. So I click in the edit window, and now I'm going to paste in my showtime show number eight, that little string of characters there and that's what's going to cause it to display the show that I created, this slideshow. Now before I submit and save this I want to go into this options menu. There's a few changes that I want to make. First off I want to give this a, a page URL because since it's a test page we need some way to be able to display it so that we can see how it really looks and by creating a page URL slideshow, uh, we'll call it slideshow test, um, then I'll be able to call that up by the name that I've given here. I also don't want it to show up in our menus, so I want to uncheck this here. And when we're doing these slideshows, there's one other option that we should turn off, and that's this cacheable. Uh, this is something to do with the way web browsers uh, display pages and read pages. If they believe they've already gotten that page from the server, they don't necessarily pull all the information down and think it's already on your PC. This can cause a problem when we update and change things, especially for doing test pages like we're doing. But it could also be a problem if we add things to a slideshow on an existing uh, page. We may want to make sure that this is uh, set not to be cached or not cacheable. So now that I've made those couple of changes, I go back to the main view and submit this. And now we see that I have this new test slideshow and I can get to it by calling slideshow test from my website. So 
I'm going to click over to this tab where I have our website and the way that you do that is after the main uh, portion of the URL, the site name, which is wccmember.com, I just type in slideshow test. And then I go ahead and hit enter. And it should go out and find that page that doesn't show up under the menu at all, but it's still out there on our website. Here's the title of the page, test slideshow. And you can see it's now presenting the three slides that I put in there. It's also putting in our uh, caption for the slides. So that was very quick how to go in and do a, a slideshow and set up a, a couple of slides and put it on a page. Now let's take a look at making a few modifications. So I'm going to go back over here and into our slide, uh, Showtime slideshow and I'm going to go in where this uh, wheel is with the, the pencil. This is the editing the slideshow settings. Now there's a lot of bits of information on here. There's the basic stuff. How big does each um, window or, or picture in the slideshow display as? If I want to make these smaller because I have other things on the page I could do something like this. Make these 320 by 240 and I can also, uh, well, no, I don't want to change this up here. These other ones probably want to leave for right now. Uh, I think I may go into them in more detail in an another presentation. But I'm also going to change the way it's displaying here. I'm going to make them slide left as they change each of them. And I think I'm going to also, <clears throat> the section down here is that caption part. I don't generally like displaying the title, but I do like the comment or caption. And right now the captions have a black background behind the text. But I'm going to take that off now and we're going to see how it changes it. I'm going to go ahead and save those changes that I've made. I'm going to go back over to the tab where I have my display. Now you'll notice as it's going through, it's still looking the same. That's because I made the changes, but I haven't reloaded my web page yet. So I'm going to go up here and hit this little button in my browser which causes it to reload the page. And now once the page is reloaded we can see I've got the smaller picture and down in my captions I don't have the black background anymore. So I'm uh, running close to the 15 minutes that I'm allowed to create these presentations. A maximum of 15 minutes for this free software I'm using. So I'm going to head and get, I'm going to wrap it up here and I'll come back with another one where we go into a little bit more about what we can do with the slideshow settings and change the look of our uh, slideshow presentations.